this is the second part of the video related to the IGCSC probability so October November 2021 paper 2 extended variant 2 question number 7 Katy has five white flowers x red flowers and 2x plus 1 yellow flowers so there are five white flowers x red flowers and 2x plus 1 yellow flowers so it means that the total will be 5 6 6 and 2 plus 2x plus x is 3x so it is 3x plus 6 this is the total number of flowers <coughs> so she picks a flower at her. so the experiment is that she is picking one flower from these two 3x plus 6 flowers it's given that the probability that it's a white is 1 over 12 so from here the probability of white is How many white? 5 white divided by total number of flowers 3x plus 6. So this is the probability from the given information and numeric information given about this probability is 1 over 12. So it means this is equal to 1 over 12. So this is a linear equation if we cross multiply them. So cross multiplying 3x plus 6 multiplied by 1 it will be 3x plus 6 and that is equal to 2 multiplied by 12 which is 60. So 3x is equal to 60 minus 6 which is 54. So this gives us x is equal to 54 over 3. So it means x is equal to 18. So this is the value of x. It means we have 18 red flowers and 2 times 18 plus 1, which will be 36 plus 1, 37 yellow flowers. So in numbers, now we have 5 white and 18 red and 2 times 18 plus 1. 2 times 18 plus 1 that is equal to 37 so 37 yellow flowers <clears throat> and the total will be equal to 60 because 3x plus 6 is equal to 60 so this total is 60 now we have the information in numbers now we'll see what is the question they are asking the question is find the probability that it is yellow like the experiment was that she picks a <coughs> flower at random find the probability that it is yellow so probability of yellow is equal to how many yellow flowers we have we have 37 yellow flowers and how many total number of flowers we have 60 yellow a total number of flowers so 37 over 60 is the answer so it will be written at the space provided 36 over 60, 37 over 60. So this is the solution of this question. Now, <clears throat> in the same question, it's not asked in the question, but to get more knowledge about this, if it's the same question, it is asked that what is the probability if two flowers are taken, both are yellow. So just I'm extending the question. So, if two flowers are chosen, are chosen at random, it's important that anything which is selected is done randomly. <coughs> 
which means without giving every preference to any of the object. So <coughs> two flowers. Now the experiment is that the two flowers are taken. So find the probability that both are yellow. So first one is yellow and the second one is also yellow. So now the probability that the first one is yellow is 37 over 60. So second one means and means multiplication. Now we have one shot in the yellow, so it means it will be 36 and one shot in the total, which means it is 59. So now we will multiply these two so the final answer will be 111 over 295 so this is the question when two flowers are chosen randomly and both are yellow okay now there is another question in the same paper as we know that this is the recent paper in the Cambridge standard math IGCSE so this is question 7 the next question which you have chosen is question number 16 in the same paper so here we have a possibility diagram so some information in the possibility diagram are missing and then one part is asked about finding the probability so we'll see what is the situation so Sachin picks a number at random from the first three multiples of three he then picks a number at random from the first three prime numbers. It means two type of picking he is doing. So one is multiple of three and one is prime numbers. So uh, he adds the two numbers to find the score. So finally we'll get an outcome as a score. Since the question is that both numbers are picked from the first three multiples of three and first three prime numbers. So first three multiples means if this is three, then the next multiple of three is six. And if you see the prime numbers, first number is two, then three. And then after that, we have the next prime number five. Now, since he adds the two numbers, so we will add the number so 2 plus 3 5 already given 2 plus 6 8 and then 2 plus 6 uh, 2 plus uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 6 is 9 3 plus 9 is 12 and then 5 plus 3 is 8 3 5 plus 6 is 11 and 5 plus 9 is 14 so now the table is complete so here we have outcomes so if I mark the outcomes which is the score so it is this one which is written in this square so if I highlight it with orange color so these are the outcomes of this experiment so how many outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is actually 3 times 3 9 so <coughs> total outcomes are So this is the first part of the question that we have completed the table. Now the second part. Uh, given that the score is even, so it's a conditional probability. Whenever we have double condition, so it's conditional probability. Usually this word is used in the conditional probability question. So given that the score is even, find the probability that one of the number he picks is 9. So we are to find the probability of that the number chosen is 9. So in the conditional probability question, we have to see both the conditions if given that the score is even. So it means our sample space, which is actually coming in the denominator, is number, the score is even. So words are very important in probability. Here they're saying that the score is even. Score means this part which is written in the orange. So even. It means that we have this one even, this one, this one, and this one. So these are total five. So 
to this is the condition that the score is even. Now out of these five even numbers, we are to find the probability that one of the number he picks is nine. So as I said that the words are very important. So here they are saying that he, the number, here it is the score. Score means which is in this square, these numbers are the score, but the number he picks are these multiple of three and the prime numbers, which are here and here. These are the numbers which he picks. So it means that number he picks is nine. So here on the side, if you see, nine is here. It means that these are the three scores obtained when the number nine was picked. So, and the outcome is even means these two. So these two numbers are satisfying. These two scores are satisfying that the number selected was nine. Okay. So it means that the numerator will be two because two of the score are obtained when the number is nine divided by total number of even numbers. So total are five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the answer of this question. So we can also do this question by using the formula of the condition probability. So I will also explain you using that method. And but this is easier with this method. Okay, so so in simple form, we can write it as probability of that the number obtained is nine, given that this is the symbol for the given that mark, given that the score is even. If I put E for the even, so this one we have found. We have found. So this is the answer two over five. Now we are going to do it with the other method, which is called the formula. We know that for this situation, the formula is probability of number nine, given that score is even, is equal to the probability of this and this, so which means the number chosen is nine and the score is even, divided by the probability that the score is even. Now these two probabilities we can find separately and then we will divide those two probabilities. So <clears throat> first we do the denominator, it's easy. So score is even. So score are these in the orange block. So we have five scores as even score. So it means it is five over total, total nine. Nine, these nine. And the numerator, the probability of nine and even. Nine is the is not the score. Nine is the number. So here, number nine. And the score is even. So it is one and two only two. So two. What are two? Two are the even numbers when the score is nine. Divided by total outcomes at 9. So this is by using formula. Now we'll simplify this. So this is equal to 2 over 9 times 9 over 5. We know that when we take the fraction to the numerator, we take its reciprocal. So then the final answer, 9 and 9 is cancelled. It's 2 over 5. So we got the same answer as we got before. So this is by using the condition probability formula. So either we can do by using this method, which is straight away. So first blue solution is better in this case than this one. I hope it's clear.